Hello, what's up, YouTube? It's PZ Eskin here. I'm going to be doing another Zippo video today. And what's this Zippo going to be about? This Zippo video going to be about? Well, it's going to be about how to use something that every single Zippo lighter comes with. Alright, what would that be? Well, if you take a look under your lid, that right there. You wouldn't see right there. Guarantee. Yes. I'm going to show you guys how you can send your Zippo back in for repair. Alright, this Zippo needs to be repaired. Alright, so I'm going to do that. Okay? Alright, so first of all, let me go ahead and show you what is actually wrong with this Zippo. This is that when, uh, Zippo Try the Fan Test that I seem to love so much, and that I do love so much. Here's what's wrong with it. Alright? It's got a, a loose cam, alright? A very loose cam. Now, it does hold open, but, you know, it's got a loose cam. Out. So, if I go ahead, just so you can get an idea of how loose this cam is, Alright, so check this out. Ready? Here it goes. Just watch the cam. I'm doing it slowly. Watch it. Let me see that. You see what it's doing there? Watch the cam. See that? You can also hear if I shake it, it kind of rattles. So, that is my problem. This is a loose cam, as you can see. Yeah, you can definitely see there, or right there. So, that's that. And this literally could not be any easier to do, okay? Um, this is, by far, you're probably going to have the best customer service experience you've ever had. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Bang! Okay, <laughs> yes, uh, suddenly, you've got a bunch of stuff in front of you. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to do this, alright? You are going to need a Yetzipo, obviously. You might want a piece of paper um, to write them a letter explaining what's wrong with it. For me, I am because it might—they might not uh, you know, instantly know what's wrong with it. So I'm going to make sure I tell them. You need uh, some notebook paper and this. This is Glad Cling Wrap. This stuff is awesome for um, wrapping stuff. <laughs> Obviously, I'm also going to be using some uh, packing and tape. Finally, the thing underneath it—the box. Yes, um, you're going to need a box to ship it in. Obviously, anyway. I do believe I mentioned everything. Let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? Let's do it. To prepare it for shipping, you need to open it. You need to take the insert, take the uh, flint screw out, and uh, then remove the felt pad. Uh, and maybe let that sit for, like, just like that. Just like that. Um, I would say let it sit like that for about one to two hours. But the reason why you're doing this is if you filled it, you can let all the fuel evaporate. It is illegal to ship a filled Zippo in the mail. Um, and then, you know, you know, smell it, make sure that you can't smell any lighter fluid, you know, spark it, um, make sure there's no, um, fuel in there, um, of course, you would want to do all that after you put it back together, so, yeah, then you can reassemble your Zippo, and then we can prepare it to actually, we can then actually start packing it up, and we're going to put this back together, and, uh, we're going to now prepare this for shipment, I would recommend maybe just going through one more time, just see if we can find anything else that, you know, might could be wrong with it. I mean, to be honest with you guys, what they'll generally do, in fact, what they tend to do, um, if you send a Zippo in for repair, they usually will just give you a new insert. So if it's something wrong with the insert, you know, I mean, still tell them what's wrong with it, but, yeah, make sure that, um, yeah. So, um, but, you know, still make, make sure, make note of anything that could be wrong. If there's something that, you know, is actually wrong with the case, you know, I mean, I, I, not scratches. Don't tell them about scratches and stuff. They won't fix that. They can't, they won't worry about those. But, you know, like, you know, something that's physically wrong with it, you know, is your, is your lid getting very loose, all right? Is your, is your insert really, really loose? I mean, yeah, you know, just make notes of stuff like that. Once you have done that, giving your Zippo a full diagnos by diagnosis. Now it is actually time to uh, prepare for shipping. Alright, so this is where this stuff's going to so, come. You want to take your cling wrap. Alright, get off a generous amount. Not a lot, but you know, a generous amount. So I would say that's probably good. And then take your lid and... Bam! Just like so. Alright, now, let's see. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Attack the camera. Um, take your Zippo and set it sort of towards the edge and just wrap it. So that's a little thin. I'm going to take off a little bit more. That's pretty good. Take this and just wrap this up. Now we're going to take the tape. So there's that. I'm actually going to wrap it the other way. Just for good measure. 
So anyway, oh, 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 go on. Okay, there you go. Make it. You know, that's that. That is a well wrapped Zippo. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Rather harshly, might I say, because <laughs> I know it's very protected. Now we can go ahead and pack this box. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this notebook paper. I'm just gonna crumble it up. I'm gonna stick it inside the box, just like so. All right, now I'm gonna stick this in. Pop. Just gonna pop it in like that. I'm pretty sure my teachers at school will understand that this is an emergency situation and that I needed to use my paper to send my supposed hair. Okay. That should do it. I'm going to fold these in right here. Just going to peel that off. Okay. Shut this in. Fold that down. Then fold this down. And it says on here, Priest Plus. Please press firmly. Now all you have to do is to address it, and put your return address, and then send it off. Okay, it is now Good Friday. I have officially sent off my Zippo for repairs at on Pi Day. So March 14th, and today is April 6th. So, y'all do the math because I am honestly in a big rush, but I want to get this opened up right now. This is, um, well, y'all know what it is. It's my separate pairs. I got them back. Uh, so, I'm going to crack this open really quickly, and we'll see what they did. Alright, let's see what we got. So, this here, got a letter. Oh, that's um, from Zippo. This is from... It works or you fix it free. And let's see, what else do we have in here? Um, oh, just some tips. Stuff that I've already explained in, uh, earlier in the video. Now this thing here is a Zippo catalog. We've got some pictures of the um, museum. And they should also in here... Oh, also this thing right here. This is actually something I've been wanting. Uh, is a, a dating chart, so that's going to come in very handy. And if we look back here, there's also, oh, there's another dating chart. And here we've got some of the current models, like a little catalog. Um, there's the 80th anniversary Zippo. So that's that little catalog thing. All right, now, um, now we're getting to the nitty-gritty. All right, so, ooh, dating code. That's awesome. I did not know they included these. It's a little thing um, for... Uh, your um, dating chart a little. All right, that's in my pot in my wallet. Now we've got this, which is the Zippo, and we've got this, which is this is the old insert. So now I have an extra insert. All right, you see what it does? It's that wobbly uh, cam. Let's see what they did to this thing. Also, let me see. They usually also give you a uh, two pack of points, which they did. And it's right there. So these are going to go right in my flint dispenser. These are basically complementary flints. Let's go ahead and peel this off. Okay. Um, Alright. That's a sticker I'll need to peel off later. Oh, they tightened up the hinge, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at that. They really tightened that hinge up. Um... That'll get looser over time. In fact, it is getting looser as I just do this. Um, ooh, let's see. Let's check this out. Oh, it's actually... This is made in B of 09. I was actually expecting this to be a brand new insert, but it's not. That's okay, though. It's a matching era insert. Let's see. One was... This is made in H of 09, so pretty close. I remember that. I mean, you know... But very, very nice. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I just need to loosen that hinge there up. Which would be fine. Yeah, they really tightened that hinge up, though. They really did. Um. Anyways. Yeah, I mean... Seriously, like, <laughs> it, it's holding up, even, <laughs> it, 
it'll get better over time. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that is the process of sending in a Zippo for repair. Uh, very cool, and I am definitely going to, um, use this again. Or I'm definitely going to probably use it because, you know, I mean, why not? Um, anyway, that's the end of this little video here. Thanks for watching. That is the process of sending in a Zippo for repair.